Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Melissa and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I went from dark hair to light hair at home um, with a pretty quick process that gave me little to no damage. So I'm gonna show you the products that I used and also the steps that I took to achieve this color. So if you're interested, keep watching. So I just want to start this video by saying that I am a licensed cosmetologist. Um, I am not practicing. I haven't been working professionally in a salon for many years. It's probably been at least eight years since I've been in a salon. So um, yeah, I do have background knowledge and I do know some basics to like, you know, be helpful. But I just wanted to give that disclaimer. I am not like current in, you know, everything. I haven't been keeping up with it, you know, like going to hair classes and that sort of thing. So, but I do have some background knowledge. Um, but with that being said, nothing I'm gonna do today takes a professional. It can all be done at home and pretty easily. Um, having a cosmetology license, I can get my professional products at a place like um, Salon Centric or Cosmoprof, which is where I usually get all of my products. But I wanted to make this video um, using products that anyone could purchase. So I decided to get all my products today from Sally Beauty Supply. And I did a lot of research on the products and decided these were the best ones um, to use that I wanted to use today. And I was a little bit nervous because I have never used them before and I don't have a lot of experience with them. But um, as you can see, I'm actually really happy with how everything came out. I would recommend them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what those products were, how I use them. So let's just get into it. Okay, here's what I'm starting out with. Um, it is much darker. I do have some pre-lightened pieces from a previous balayage about a year ago. And then I did try to lift them and touch them up a couple months ago. But as you can tell, they're really brassy. My hair is overall pretty dark. So I am hoping to get it much lighter while being careful of my ends because they are damaged. To help hydrate and protect my hair, I'm going to start with a deep conditioning treatment, first using coconut oil, concentrating that on the ends of my hair, and just applying this to dry hair, really trying to soak it in, and I'm going to let this sit for about an hour, maybe two, and then rinse. Deep conditioning is important prior to and after a color process, especially when using bleach to rehydrate your hair. After I've done this process, I'm gonna go in and use a deep conditioner called It's a 10 and let that soak in my hair for another hour before I rinse that out. Okay guys, here's what I'm gonna be using. I have two color bowls, two color brushes, a weaving comb, regular comb, and then clippies for sectioning my hair, um, a little color measuring cup, a color bottle for my toners, and this quick blue, which I have never used. So I just got the little packs in case I don't end up liking it. Um, I didn't want to commit to a big tub of it. These are the toners that I picked up that I've heard really good reviews on. So I just got its Color Charm by Wella uh, T11, which is a beige blonde toner, and then T14, which is a more ashy toner. So depending on how brassy my hair comes up, uh, depends on which one of these or if I mix them uh, and some foils here I didn't realize I was so low on foils so I might have to just cut some foil if I run out this is the developer that goes with these toners it's a 20 volume the Wella cream developer for those and then these are the developers for my bleach I just got the tiny the tiny bottles because I haven't used these so um, I didn't want to commit again to the big bottles until I see if these are any good so this is just the salon care 30 volume 20 volume and then I did pick up the color charm semi-permanent hair color to use um, on my roots or to do any blending just in case um, but I didn't realize it needs its own specific uh, developer so if I do end up having to use this, I'll have to go back and grab that developer, but I'm hoping 
that my color just turns out good just with using the bleach and the toner and I won't have to do that. So here goes. I mixed equal parts of the quick blue bleach with the developer, which was partially 20 volume and partially 30 volume combined. I'm starting off by sectioning my hair into four sections, keeping my natural part. Sectioning is helpful to divide up the areas you want to work on and keep things a little bit neater, although you see I get pretty messy with this. It's much harder to do your own hair than someone else's, that's for sure. I'm going to start with one of the top sections and I'm going to weave out very small sections using my weaving comb or a rat tail comb and place my foil at the root. Then I'm going to apply the bleach starting at the top and adding another foil because my hair is so long. Then I'm going to fold it up and leave it up at the root and clip it over to the side so I can start on the next section. I'm going to repeat this process for only a couple foils up at the top. I'm just trying to bring some lightness to the top of my hair and work on pulling that base color up where I have my natural growth and no color processes. Although this may seem really difficult, as long as you take really small pieces and try to avoid putting a ton of product at the root where it's going to bleed, you're going to be just fine. If you're going for a look like me where you don't mind if your root area is a little bit darker and like it to fade down, you're pretty safe in doing this. Just make sure you take small pieces, small sections so that it's not super drastic. I used a 20 mixed with 30 level developer because I really want to lift my roots where I have my natural growth without any other processes on my hair and I know my hair comes up very orangey and so I really wanted to get a good lift. But focusing down on the bottom and if you have pre-lightened hair, I would definitely go with a 20 on that pre-lightened hair because you don't want to risk too much damage. I was being a little risky pulling this 20 with the 30 through onto my ends, but I could just tell by the way that my hair felt and from previous processes that my hair could take it. So I just went for it. On the next sections of my hair, I am going to do more of a balayage technique, finishing through this section of hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to back comb the top of my hair and this is going to help with blending. So you back comb the top and then you're going to start with your bleach down at the bottom, really trying to soak through the ends. And then I'm just going to work this up um, to the top of my hair and do like a V-shaped pattern. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher up towards the front of the strand and then back towards the back and just kind of use my brush to fade it up. Just making sure that there isn't any harsh lines, that everything's just kind of blending down. And clipping that section over on top of the foil, I'm going to continue the same exact process through the rest of this section. Just make sure you take sections that aren't too thick, I would say maybe like half an inch. Make sure you do that back combing, focus the bleach on the end, blend it up, and it's going to turn out great. Now I'm just repeating the same process on the other side, doing some small weaved pieces on the top, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the balayage technique through the bottom. Now this part can be a little bit trickier. I'm doing a little bit of weaving in the back, so I just picked up a section from the top of the back, and I'm weaving some small little sections, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same process like I did on the sides, working forward with the bleach so I'm making sure to cover both sides of the hair strand and then just going to wrap it up with the foil, do a couple foils and then start on the balayage on the two back sections. I 
At this point, my hair just looks like a big crazy mess because there is so much of it and so little places to put it. But I am just repeating the process now on those two back sections, pulling the hair forward and doing the balayage technique, focusing the product on the bottom and pulling it up to the top. My hand was over the microphone for this, but pretty much what I was saying was that I let it process for about an hour and a half, checking probably every 15 minutes to about the lightness that I wanted, and then I went ahead and pulled them out. It got um, actually pretty light up at the roots. There is a lot of brassiness, so I'm going to tone that out, and I don't think I will be using the semi-permanent hair color on the root. I think I'm gonna be able to get it light enough with just the toner and the bleach. After rinsing it out, you can see it is very brassy. There's a lot of the orangey yellow tones, so I'm going to go ahead and use mix um, both of the toners. I would really like that beige color, but I think I need the ash to really cancel out some of this yellow and orange. So that's what I'm going to do. Time for toner. Again, I am going to be mixing the T11 and T14 Color Charm toners. I'm going to use the entire bottle of each because I have so much hair. So I'm just going to mix that with the Color Charm Developer and that will sit on my hair for about 30 minutes. You want to apply this to towel dry hair and just watch it for your desired lightness, but it can stay on for about 30 minutes. I'm going to brush it on and focus it up at the root at first because that's where a lot of the brassiness is and then just work it through the rest of my hair, eventually just putting it on like a shampoo. Then just process, rinse, and you are done. So this is how it came out. A huge difference and you guys can do this at home too. It um, it took a couple hours, but I feel like it was well worth it. I saved so much money. Um, I would have probably paid $100 plus at the salon to do this. And the products I purchased were around $35. So you guys can do this at home, save some money. Yeah, so I just want to give you guys a closer, a little bit of a closer view of the color. So I definitely got to a really light blonde. Um, you can see the kind of beigey blonde color and up at the root it is a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. I wouldn't even necessarily call it brassy. I think I, it did a really good job of getting um, a lot of the brassiness out. And I love how that looks, how it's just like fades down. I can totally do like the half up, half down thing. I don't have to worry about doing all this and it saves you so much time not going through and highlighting and getting all in here. If you just do that V technique, the back combing, and it just blends really nicely and then you can just focus more of the weaving and highlighting up through the top. It's hard to show you guys the back, let me see. So the back actually got pretty light as well. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. If um, you have any questions about the process, products I use, anything, leave them down in the comments. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. Also, you can follow me over on Instagram and direct message me there. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Never up, never down, never like a thing.